Hi everyone, in this video we're going to talk about place value. So I'm going to make up a number and I'm going to put it in these boxes, or actually I'll put it under the box, and we're going to discuss what the place value is. So for example, say we had the number uh, 4, 2,8,5,6,7,2. And what you could do is you could put the number in these boxes. So we would write it like this, 2, 7, 6, 5, 8, 2, and then here we have 4. And so now we can discuss what's called the place value of each of the digits. So for example, let's focus on the 7 right here. So if you look at the 7, it falls into this category here. So the 7 is in the tens place. Okay, so 7 is in the tens place because that's the place value. So it's ones, tens, hundreds, then it goes to thousands. So one thousands, tenths, ten thousands, hundred thousands, and then it goes to millions. For example, two would be in the hundred thousands place. Four would be in the millions place. Let's look at a different number. Say we had instead um, one, five, six, two, eight, four, three, two, one. So without putting it in the box, we should be able to do it because you notice there's a pattern. It's ones, tens, hundreds, ones, tens, hundreds, ones, tens, hundreds. So for example, if we pick just the eight here, we know it's going to be in the tens place because it's the second digit, right? Ones, tens, hundreds, but it's also in the thousands place. So this is in the ten thousands place. So this is in the ten thousands. place. What about the one? Well, the one would be way over here, right? It's in the hundreds and it ends up being in the millions. So one is in the hundred millions place. So one is in the hundred millions place. Likewise, five would be in the tens millions place. Six would be in the millions place. 2 would be in the hundred thousands place, 8 we said was in the ten thousands place, 4 would be in the thousands place, and then 3 in the hundredths, 2 in the tens, and 1 in the ones. So that's place value. I hope this video has been helpful.